I've always loved uh, music in all kinds of ways. Um, always, I mean, I've always enjoyed music. Um, I play the trombone, which was actually a random thing. I originally studied violin, and then I moved to a different school, and they didn't have strings, they only had wind, and they said, you can choose a wind instrument. So I chose trombone, kind of randomly, and then slowly it became something that I do. Um, so now it's kind of my main thing is that I play the trombone, but I still don't know why. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy it. It's a beautiful instrument, and I enjoy playing it. But I don't, I don't really know why I play it. Um, so that's one thing I do, and I play trombone in many different groups, mostly in the fields of improvised music or contemporary music. <laughs> I mean, I've always kind of worked with composing, but I don't really consider myself to be really a composer because I still have so much to study. I didn't formally study composition. I mean, I've studied many compositions. I've studied music, but not formally composition. So I still feel, I don't feel I can really say, I can say I'm a trombonist because I've done enough hours of practice. For composing, I'm really just trying things out, so. I mean, I love composing, it's really fun. But I only like composing when I can really work directly with musicians or, or make electronic music. I don't like to write a score and then send it to somebody and then imagine that it's going to work. So, like for instance, my scores are often quite unclear on purpose because I want to work with the musicians directly to really work together. Yeah, I know people that really like to try things out and really like to experiment and to... Uh, I don't want to have musicians that just want to know exactly what to do. Uh, some musicians are really amazing, that you can give them any score and they can play everything, but that, that's not interesting for me because uh, they're like robots somehow. And I'd rather work with people who have questions. And I mean, I've worked with... Sometimes I, I, I once wrote a piece which was written for one group and then played by another group, and the other group were much more kind of strict, classical, and they were looking at my score and they were really like, oh, what's this, it's terrible. But in the end, they really loved it. So we had a whole discussion and in the end, it really became um, something very interesting. So I like this process. And I, and I want the musicians that I work with to really have fun, to enjoy what they do. I mean, I really see no point in musicians playing something they don't enjoy. Mm -hmm. So that's really important for me. It, has to be, it just has to be fun, that's very simple. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think these festivals are really important, especially when they're like this, like really mixed. I think they're really important because you meet all kinds of new people and uh, you hear things you wouldn't hear otherwise. So they're like a real forum, and I think that that's really important. Um, I mean, it depends where you live. Some places have incredible amounts of things happening and other places have not much happening. Now I'm living in Berlin, which is kind of ridiculous because there's five or six concerts every night of improvised music plus other music. So it's really incredible what's happening there, um, but almost too much. But that's so that's a but it's a really living scene. It's really an incredible scene, and it's not based on economics or anything. It's just based on music. I mean, I like scenes which don't depend on funding, because if you have too much funding, then everything's based on getting money, right? And then based on the policies of the government or whoever's in charge and it's not based on people really doing it for the love of it. I mean, I'm insp often inspired by America because America doesn't have much funding, but there's such an amazing music that comes from there, especially starting in the 20th century. The jazz and the contemporary music of America is really amazing. Um, yeah, we, like in Europe, it's a slightly artificial situation because it's partly cultural funding, it's partly um, academic, it's partly just underground. But I think here, like in places like here, it seems to be a very healthy mixture of everything, which I think is great. <laughs>